Vader Raider's still good, who knew? But one of the things that we note, in the Toronto meta, there is a little bit of shame sometimes about playing some of the top tier kind of internet popular decks. Yeah. So some of the better players have a little bit of a resistance to running those decks over and over again in tournaments. Well, also there's some players that have already won store championships and they've, they've used that opportunity to like maybe play something a little bit more, well, yeah. fun is relative. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not the kind of person that's gonna shame somebody for playing a deck that wins in a tournament. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, you've won a store championship already, like you don't really have to try hard so much. Right. So, yeah, it's, it's not something where people are shaming those players. Yeah. It's just some of the better players. It's like, I don't, don't want to just bring the internet hotness. I want to try to bring yeah. something a little bit more unique. So there's Chris rolling out the Vader. Of course, uh, you do have to remember to tell your opponent to discard there. And he does discard and deflect, obviously. I don't think the deflect useless. is going to come and play. Well, if Tuscan Raider rolls his <laughs> uh, So you can see here, actually, an example of the... Um, the explosiveness of the Emo Kids deck. You already see, like, a three... Oh, sorry. Was it a three melee times two on on the young Vader and then two melee? Of course, that's a very expensive set of uh, melee damage, showing on Jay's side. Uh, Chris uh, having an anemic role himself with his Vader and his Raider. And discarding to reroll here, uh, still nothing. Same, same rule? Yeah, and, and as I was saying last round, right, like with the hero mill versus some of these aggro decks, like this is the danger, like you're trying to deal damage fast, but sometimes you just can't, you just can't get those sides that you want to resolve, you know? Uh, so Jay having the same problem, him not having enough money. Of course, uh, the really cool thing about the Emo Kids deck is that really you can just claim almost any time you have like a, a Kylo or a Vader die showing and deal some damage. So that looks like four damage going into Vader, uh, trying to burn down Vader as quickly yep. as possible, always a good plan. Goes around the shields because of the Vibro Knife in play. Yep. And Electroshock and Vader die, very smart because that's always three damage. Yeah, and you know what he claims that was going to be three yep. damage. Now he put it on the wrong character, but I'm pretty sure he'll realize his mistake. If not, we can go correct him. So there's a claim from Jay there, showing two. a Vibro Knife, two damage. On to Chris. Now, you do have to, with Kylo, uh, announce your target before you resolve the reveal the card. So, we're going to trust that Jade announced his target before that happened. So, that is. What is that? Force Strike. Okay. Changing Vader's uh, die into the three melee. And <laughs> there's Chris uh, correcting the game state there for us. Thank you, Chris. And deals three damage. Four damage, should be four damage actually, unless he had a shield on it, right? Or maybe not? Okay, going into round two. Jay has the initiative here, uh, having the battlefield. See an overconfidence, Makasha training, which is a, a surprisingly good card actually. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's been a bit, a bit of a sleeper hit from uh, Speed Rebellion. Nothing too flashy, but like for all those de decks that require melee sides, it's been, uh, it's been really strong. Sith Holocron coming down, getting some of those free force powers. On both sides. Yep, rolling out Kylo. Um, and now, uh, of course, all these Sith Holocron decks do run expensive upgrades, so Kylo's side can potentially be scary here. And there is a focus and a blank with the, the, the Raider dice. A young Vader rolls in in response, and two, two melee damage. And of course, those damage are unblockable because of the Vibro Knife showing. <laughs> force Speed. Now, I'm actually personally not a huge fan of Force Speed in, in the Vader Raider deck. Like, I don't think it's necessary. Of so, course, there is the cute combo of Fast Hands into Force Speed, which allows you to, yeah. to take a bunch of actions at once. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think without the Fast Hands, it's not really worth yeah. it. So now here's a discard to re-roll all the uh, non damage sides. I think I'd be tempted to take a chance on the Kylo special. Yeah. Vader rolling out. Looks like a three melee, a four speed side, and a one resort, or sorry, a one shield side rather, on Vader. Jay discards uh, Force Illusion. That's like two damage, I think. Is it? Okay. Hard, hard to see on our small screen, but you got this. Okay, so overconfidence. So. Make some reroll two dice, remove the, the lowest value, of course. Not a hard decision there. 
with the two blanks. So that's a great uh, resolution there for Jay. Use this before speed because why not? Scratch another force throw to get some reroll here. Yeah, Chris's rolls haven't been have been very hot actually, and and you can see on Jay's side like. There's only three damage on Young Vader, so hasn't been uh, able to deal the damage that uh, Chris needs to kind of put pressure on Jay here. And, and that threat of the Emperor's Throne Room is always there. So the, uh, Chris's second action off the four speed is to focus into a three melee. Okay, I heard a judge call, and that's uh, Shane or Marshall okay. going to go to I'm wondering why he did that. Yeah, but because it was because he was going to bait and switch. Ah, awesome. That's six damage on to Baby Vader. Okay, so now now this game has turned around quite a bit. Bait and Switch, uh, probably one of the best cards for Vader Raider to have been released in Spirit of Rebellion next to Fast Hands. Uh, it's really increased the consistency. It's basically four strikes, three and four in this deck. Okay, so this is a claim. Was it a claim there? No. And chooses to to get the force throw out instead of uh, resolving Vader's die. So now we're personal shield discard. That's a weird one. I haven't quite seen that card being used in Vader Raider much. I'm confused here. Nine damage. Yeah. Why wouldn't you do the Vader special? Oh, because you're not gonna get the claim. Yeah, he, he probably would have claimed to have roll him. into a finish, just try to finish him off. I'm a little surprised by that. Yeah. That, that sequence. So hopefully Chris can get some sort of, uh, just needs to deal, uh, what, two more damage onto to Vader, young Vader Electric to finish off. that two damage that Vader was showing. Yep. And uh, here's a kind of a weak roll from, uh, from Jay there. Force throw. Now... One thing I want to say about force throws that, I, at least around here, it's and in some of the deck uh, deck write ups I've seen on uh, Star Wars Destiny DB, uh, force throw has has slowly been replaced, not completely, but supplemented by force push, just because those sides are more consistent damage wise than than force throw. I mean, rolling a force throw special is always great, but. Uh, sometimes you want something like a force push that just pushes out damage oh. faster. Bait and switch so, is going to mean he can't get, take yeah. advantage of that die. So there we go, and he, he did spend a resource there to resolve that three damage. So that's half the work done for Chris, and suddenly this this game is looking uh, like more of an uphill struggle for Jay now. So that's uh, that's one of the ways to deal with uh, the Vader deck. The, sorry, the Emo Kids deck. You just you kill the stronger of the two, which is generally Young Vader, and then. Kylo, even with his upgrades, is going to kind of struggle to... Now, although, that being said... Uh, damage on yeah, Vader. that's 11 damage on Vader, so, uh, you know, fast hands on Chris. Now, e even with the fast hands, if Chris rolls something like, um, you know, a one, a two melee and a three right. melee side, all Jade has to do is claim, but that's weird. He claims and throws the, was it the blank holocron? I think I would have waited in that case to try to kill out Vader here. And yeah, that's. I think he's gonna get punished here because, although with fast hands, he now can re resolve four speed. So of yeah, course, he, now he, he doesn't have to get a bunch of damage off first, yeah. anyways. Yeah. So, I mean, in retrospect, it didn't matter. But I think I would have waited still. So this is Chris discarding to reroll, trying to maximize the damage here. Uh, of course, that four speed not looking so hot when your opponent's already claimed. Although a lightsaber throw. Uh, from Chris's hand, puts through two damage onto Kylo, and then another three. So now Kylo's sitting at six health, and now things are looking pretty grim for Jay. Well, yeah, it's going to be tough to kill Vader yep. before he gets a chance to roll in. And if if the Tuscan Raider gets some huge, uh, huge force ability upgrade on him, like say a, a force, uh, sorry, I, a I think mind probe or something like that, then I don't think it was worth putting the force speed there. Just yeah. yeah. Well, he is lucky in that Vader rolls garbage. Yeah, but I think there is a second Force Strike hiding somewhere in Chris's deck. He's going to disrupt, get rid of, yep. getting rid of Chris's two resources. Yep. Or uh, Jay's two resources. Yeah, which is which is good because uh, Kylo has that two damage for one resource side, so you kind of like cut down his damage output. Or huh. I think he's just saying that he forgot to take his resources uh, this turn. Okay, so now he has four resources, which makes Chris 
think, okay, you know, like maybe that two disrupt isn't as useful anymore. No, he might as well roll. Yeah. I uh, might as well. Um, oh no, he might as well use it because he's not going to get both actions. So Jay still has five cards in his hand, right? Yeah. Yes. So I was thinking it, it would have been no. possible if he Jay had has four, four cards. Four cards. Okay. Cards. Okay, now Chris is like, oh, did you discard? And Jay's like, yeah, I discarded the flag deck. Again, not very useful in this matchup. There's a feel your anger, strong. Yep, get rid of those two uh, Vader dice. Here comes a Tuscan roll. Looks like a three melee, and yeah, Chris is going to use that right away before any more uh, shenanigans can be done on his part. And so now that, that, that does mean he's one good uh, Tuscan roll away from killing yep. Kylo. And, you know, Chris might even claim here if he's got a powerful force ability, just to get it out of his hand to prevent that Kylo, uh, Kylo special from doing a lot of damage. But here's the isolation instead. Yeah, why, uh, why claim? You're not in a big rush. So that's two damage on Vader. Looks like that's enough to kill him. Okay, so um, <clears throat> a fully, uh, fully healthy uh, Tusken Raider now with a mind probe on him with the claim here. Versus a three health Kylo. And now here's uh, Jay looking to squeak by some extra damage before the next round. One melee, not very good, I don't think. Discard to reroll those two. What are you looking for here? You're looking for not a four speed activation. I probably wouldn't. Yeah, okay. So there's one melee onto the Tuscan Raider. Of course, we grab his yeah. mind probe dice hopefully here. Yep, so all Chris needs to do is roll a mind probe special and that's it. I mean, he just said... Or, or, or Tuscan uh, three damage. Yeah, three, three melee. Actually, the three range from the mind probe would also do it. Yeah. So, uh, so he's got like a 1 in 12 shot of yeah. getting his roll. Is it 1 in 12? Oh, no, I, I don't know probably. I think it's more than that. No, it's 1 in 12. Chris taking his time though, he doesn't want uh, no, to make a mistake. Yeah. I'm terrible at math, so I'm going to trust you on that. I wonder what he's thinking. Maybe he's thinking, is there some way I can lose from this position? And actually, maybe slightly less. But... It's because you, you multiply the probabilities together, is that what you do? So you, you have to multiply, you have to. The, the yeah, okay. it's like one out of six times, times one out of six. five out of six times two out of six. Okay. So it's or it's going to say plus. plus. So it'll be like slightly under. Okay, so that's the three damage. No, it's no, the one two. ranged and the two discard. So not quite what you wanted to see, and you probably don't want to. No. I don't know if Chris is still deciding if he wants to do anything with those yeah, guys. Probably probably not. Nope. So here's the counter roll from Jay. Looking for something huge. Oh, four speed and a Kylo special. <clears throat> Maybe you can make something happen here. Discard yeah, the Viper Discard knife. his most expensive card. Okay, there's a mind probe. Yeah. And even if Jay discards another card, that's still enough cards in his hand to kill him. So he needs to, he needs to get rid of three cards. Yeah. Or that die. Get rid I mean, of the die also works. Th there needs to be uh, an overconfidence. Yeah, actually, you're right. Uh, yeah, he should be Alamaniac. He, he should have claimed to win, but I think he just missed that, yeah. Looks like he missed the claim. So, all right. <clears throat> so maybe he's looking to hit something big. Hits a zero, and now all Chris has to do is resolve that. Oh, yeah. oh see, I see. Jay's resolving all his specials, so now he gets two more actions. There's the doubt, so now Chris is being punished for missing that claim there. And resolve or remove, and it didn't matter. So